Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I went on a little bit of a buying craze for Father's Day. I just, I don't know what got into me. I wanted to buy a lot of cheapies. So I found some amazing deals and I thought let's film a video to share with you some of my favorites that I got. I have a bunch of really great hidden gems here, all very, very affordable. Everything in this list is going to be under $50. Super affordable, amazing deals, and you will smell great. So let's get into it. So we'll start with one from the house of Louis Carden. This is their Credible Om. And this house was introduced to me by my friend, Michelle Curly Fragrance. I'm sure you guys have seen her talking about them as well. I've just seen her rave on and on about this house and I really wanted to try it. And wow, I am so impressed by this house. This was one of two that I tried out. And first, I just wanna say I'm blown away by the price. For 100 ml, it's an amazing deal. With this one, there's a lot of citrus in the opening, just a lot of citrus. But as it dries down, it gets a lot more woody, a lot woodier. So some notes in this, there's musk, floral and green notes, some orange. There's some woody notes, there's some Gersian balsam. It's compared a lot to Silver Mountain Water by Creed, but in my opinion, because I think I've expressed it quite a few times on this channel that I'm not the biggest fan of Silver Mountain Water. I'm just, it's not that I don't like this scent. I think the scent is gorgeous. It's very like luxurious, rich, fresh. It's, it's a beautiful scent, all right? It's iconic, but the price, to the performance ratio is just, it's its just not worth it. I'm sorry, I hate to be the Creed hater, but it's true, it's just, it's not worth the price. But this, to me, it's very close to Silver Mountain Water. I don't think it's entirely exact. It's so much stronger. In my opinion, it's more, I think it relates more to like the original batches of Silver Mountain Water, like what it used to be, the good old days of Creed, if you will. It's very beautiful, very sexy in a very like put together kind of way. Like, you know when a man is just dressed really nice, he's got it all together. It's so sexy for a woman to see that. And then with something like this on top of that, it's just, Wow, take me now, please. <laughs> Beautiful, very woody, very aquatic, just absolutely great for the price as well. If you had me blind smelling this, I would never guess that it was so affordable. Under $50, I would, I never would have guessed. The qual is just, it smells too good to be that affordable. As you'll find, that's a running theme in this video. All these fragrances are just, you would not believe that they are so affordable. So if you like the smell of Silver Mountain Water, but you don't want to pay the price, that high price tag with such horrible performance, I definitely recommend Credible Om by Louis Carden. Much better bang for your buck and it smells very similar. So moving on to my number two, we have another fragrance that is from the house of Louis Carden. This is Sacred. This is one that I'm sure you've heard people talking about because wow, this one is everything to me. Like I like Credible Om, I like the scent profile of that, but this is my jam. Like this on a man is like, I'm instantly yours. Any woman walking by is instantly yours when they smell this on you. This is a sexy, sexy, leathery, boozy scent. And we love the atomizers as well. Mm? And I'm telling you, in the air, it's so good. It's so good. And I know that this is also one of Michelle's favorite. Like when I posted about this on my Instagram, she replied and she's like, that's my favorite, I love it so much. I'm like, this is so good. Like I get so excited when I smell it. It's like, it just, look at the smile on my face. Like you can't make this up. And it is the total opposite of Credible as well. This is a very warm, spicy, powdery scent with gourmand notes like caramel and vanilla. It has dark chocolate as well with some spicy notes. Sandalwood black and white musk. Very interesting to see a black musk note and sandalwood and amber. And this is another fragrance that you could easily wear another darker fragrance that would work beautifully in the summer. It is very gourmand, but there is something kind of fresh in here. Like there's something that makes it a little bit lighter. It's that powdery vibe and there's like a little bit of like an airiness touch too, but don't let that fool you. This is a very strong fragrance. I think that it might have something to do with the muskiness in this maybe. This is so delicious and inviting. Women will want to eat you as soon as they smell you. Women will be begging you to go home to meet their dad. <laughs> it sounds dramatic, but you guys, this is the effect of gourmand on women. I'm not lying to you. I'm giving you an insider secret here. Women go crazy for gourmands. Just absolutely nuts. Throw some dark chocolate, some caramel vanilla in there, and she's yours. Women love that scent profile. It's so good. Plus, it's even better because, you know, here in America, lots of men like to wear 
fresh fragrances so when you wear something a little darker a little more gourmand you're going to stand out so it kind of gives you an edge in that way the sillage of this this in the air is just it's bewitching you'll put spells on women or your money back just kidding <laughs> it kind of smells to me like a combination like something in between creation e mixed with like amber aoud by roja and then as it dries for me it kind of smells a little bit like symphonium by zarjov so it does i'm telling you it does not smell like it's only 50 dollars. it does not it smells so much more expensive than that and it's so good unisex as well i will totally wear the hell out of this like this is so good amazing elegant fantastic gourmand to wear definitely worth it and if you'd like to try louis Carden, i have a 10 percent off code for you guys in the description as well so make sure to check it out I need to move on or I'm not going to stop smelling this one. So moving on to my number three, we have a nice, sweet, leathery scent. This is Uomo by Salvatore Ferragamo. This is actually one that I got a lot of requests from my viewers to try. I feel like most of these <laughs> were just blind buys for me because of the amazing comments that you guys leave me. I really appreciate it when you guys give me recommendations of things that one, I need to smell, but also things that you want to hear my thoughts on. I will always take your feedback into consideration. You guys are everything to me. Don't ever forget that. But wow, guys, this one, this one is giving me all the bad boy vibes. Musky leather jacket all the way. But there's a lot of supporting sweetness here. It's not just like a really raunchy, dirty leather jacket kind of scent. Really, like once again, if you would just have me blind smell this and say, how much do you think this would cost? I mean, I'm guessing like 200 bucks, not $39. And this one was made by the famous master perfumer, Alberto Marias as well. So of course you can expect something amazing, but this one surprised me when I learned that it was by Alberto Marias because I feel like it's not his usual scent that he does. Like I feel like he's really known for the iconic fresh fragrances. There's a little bit of a freshness here. There's a lot of muskiness here, but that sweet, sexy leather jacket is the main accord of this. The notes in this it has pink pepper, has Italian mandarin and grapefruit with cinnamon and cypress with a base of tonka bean leather and a really cool roasted coffee bean note and patchouli. And this one smells phenomenal. It smells expensive and it transforms totally throughout the life of this. It opens very citric, very, very bright and fresh with a hint of that kind of leather vibe, but as it dries, it just becomes so much darker. It really transforms into this really fun leather coffee scent. It's very nice, it's very refreshing. You do get that touch of the cypress, just a little hint of green in this. It's phenomenal, and once again, I cannot take my nose off of this one. I am such a sucker for coffee. It's just so delicious in fragrances. It just adds so much beautiful depth to it. It's just, it's so good. Lady Killer. So good. So the next one on the list is one that's been around for quite some time. And another one that I've gotten just endless requests to review, to smell. People saying, you need to smell this one. It's a classic. It's so good. It's such a good cheapie. So I went out and I bought a bottle of CK Shock by Calvin Klein. Everyone told me to try it and wow, you guys were all so right. Great ambery spicy scent, but I will say that my thoughts on it are that it's much more youthful than any of the other ones that I've talked about so far. It definitely has a much younger feel to it. There's something kind of like cannabis-y smelling. Like, I don't know if it's just a really dirty patchouli, but there's something very green kind of cannabis feeling in this, which might be why I think young, but there's also kind of like a slight syrupy sweetness here, but it is really good. It's amazing. It's like one of those cheapies that you smell it and you know that it's so affordable and you just ask yourself, why? <laughs> like, what's the, the gig? Like someone give it up? Am I being punked or something? Like, why is this so cheap? Definitely feel some lavender in here. There's cucumber as well. With clementine, cardamom, there's some pepper, tobacco, amber, patchouli. Like I said, there's patchouli. It's very dirty patchouli, some woody notes and some musk. If you're a younger guy, this is definitely one that will get you great results. And maybe 30s and up, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one. I think that this would be a great one for like, if you're in college and you're going clubbing, you're going out, this would be a really great fragrance to be loud, proud, grab some attention. Even a little tiny bit of a soapy vibe in here, so it makes it smell like you actually showered. <laughs> great chibi for a younger guy, CK Shock by Calvin Klein. So next we're gonna talk about an absolute icon, the Dreamer, a fragrance that is literally as old as me. 
This is one of the first Versace fragrances that I reviewed on my channel about a year ago. I did a review of this outside of the Versace mansion on Ocean Drive. And this is definitely a fragrance that was way beyond its time. This is old school masculinity done in a super elegant way. It's an amber fougere with some lavender, some sage, mandarin orange, that famous tobacco with the rose, with carnation, some geranium, a lot of florals in this, with tonka bean, fir, vetiver, and cedar. A lot of florals in this with that spicy tobacco. I love it. It's a classic. It is such an important fragrance for any collector to have. It's so affordable and it's so good. Just such an icon. For me, this smells like a man who just owns his masculinity. It's hot. Versace, the dreamer. So next we have one that I might have grabbed due to the crazy hype behind it. Missoni Wave. And immediate props for the magnetic cap on this. Really nice touch. This one is definitely the freshest out of the bunch. 100% better than Nautica Voyage, by the way. <laughs> this one is a newer release, came out in 2020. It has sea notes, it has citruses, it has lavender with rosemary, vanilla orchid, vetiver, patchouli, and oak moss. It's a 10 out of 10 aquatic cheapie. This one is so good. It's not the most unique, special thing on the planet, but for this category, I think it is probably number one. For the price point in this aquatic category, I think it definitely takes the trophy because there's nothing that immediately jumps out to me that smells artificial. And that's just something that I get with all of them. This and like light blue intense are just the winners of this cheap, affordable aquatic scent profile. But I feel like some people get turned off by light blue intense because of that extreme saltiness. I feel that with this one, it's a little bit sweeter. People might get behind it a little bit more. And like I said, nothing synthetic about this so far, like others in the category, like Nautica Voyage, Blue Jeans, for example. It's very basic, but it's very good. My Sony Wave for a nice, affordable, good quality summer aquatic freshie can't go wrong. So jumping back to the other end of the fragrance spectrum, we're going to go with Bentley Intense for Men. And this is one that seems that people either really love it or they really hate it when they smell it. I think that the bottle is a little, it's a little gaudy, but I could see some men getting behind it. Like this one I feel so far has the cheapest feel of the bottles, but the scent does not smell cheap. It might be a little challenging for some people, I will say that but it does not smell cheap. That's the one thing that you cannot say is that it smells cheap. It does not. The definitely immediately first impression is like niche vibes. Very impressive considering I think I paid like $30 for this. The notes in this, there's some black pepper, bay leaf, bergamot. And I feel like the bay leaf is kind of like reminiscent of something like cumin. Like, I don't know, there's something a little, a little skanky in here, a little like manly man kind of smell. There's a mid of rum in here, adds a touch of booziness with some woody notes with cinnamon, clary sage, African geranium, incense, leather, benzoin, patchouli, and cedar. And this is for the guys that like strong scents with a lot of old school vibes. It's very boozy and leathery. It's kind of like sitting in a cigar lounge. Very subtle smokiness from the incense too. I picture <laughs> like an Italian dad wearing this. Don't ask me why, but it's just what I picture, okay? It's my job to be honest here, all right? And like I said, I definitely get that kind of cumin vibe, a little tiny bit of bio, not bio, but just a little animalic kind of manly, a little man musk <laughs> smell. And this is definitely not a winter beast that I would recommend for this summer. Keep this one in the cold, please. And it smells way more expensive than it is. So for that reason, it's on this list. It might be a little challenging for some people, but even for a blind buy, it's like you can't go that wrong. So it's definitely worth trying in the cold. I do not want to be walking down Ocean Drive smelling anyone wearing Bentley Intense. Like I will, I will be very displeased, all right? The last fragrance on this list. It's an exception to the rule, okay? It's not under $50. It's actually $65. But if you count for my discount code with Max Aroma, 20% off, it gets close to $50. And it's just so good. It's worth the little bit of extra change. This is Pasha de Cartier Edition Noir. This is one of my favorite designer fragrances. Talk about elegance, classic French perfumery. This is for a very well-dressed, put-together man. It screams luxury, old money, wealth, and confidence. So much confidence in this bottle. It's a very modern fougere kind of scent. It's definitely one that my viewers who love old style, like fougere, old school kind of style fragrances will adore this, but 
I love it because it's done in a very modern way. I don't know, there's something about this that just feels so modernized, so wearable in today's world. I love it so much. I really, really, really appreciate this fragrance for what it is. And on a man, it's just beautiful. This one is a 10 out of 10 for me every time. Classic note breakdown, citrusy, it's ambery. There's mint, watery notes, black pepper, iris, and violet with heliotrope and cloves. I love everything about this. It's just so classy, screams elegance, just the ultimate refinement. One of the best designers out there you can get for this price. It is just amazing. If you want to smell better than anyone, you know, you're not competing with all the guys wearing Blue de Chanel or and Dior Sauvage, but you want to smell better than them, definitely get Pasha de Cartier Edition Noir. It's just it's amazing. Not under $50, but close. <laughs> so guys, that is my list of some of my favorite affordable fragrances for men. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the fragrances will be linked below. I would love to hear your thoughts as well. What is your favorite affordable fragrances? What are more affordable fragrances that I need to try? I'm always down for a good shopping haul, so leave a comment below, please. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.